something good is going to happen to you. Well, I've never been 86 years old before. But I'm honored to be with my beloved friend, Biddy, who means so much to millions of people, and in a very special way to me, and my wife, Evelyn, and to my family. I'm honored to be with you today for just a few minutes. I'm going to try to answer the question that is being asked throughout the world especially since Mel Gibson's movie called The Passion has been shown. <clears throat> and is being shown throughout the world. Who is Jesus? And I'm going to bring him to you and tell you who he is from every book of the Bible all 66 books. <clears throat> In Genesis, he is the seed of the woman. In Exodus, the Passover lamb. In Leviticus, he is our high priest. In Numbers, he is the pillar of fire by night and the pillar of cloud by day. In Deuteronomy, the prophet like unto Moses. In Joshua, the captain of our salvation. In Judges, our judge and lawgiver. In Ruth, he is our kinsman redeemer. In First and Second Samuel, he's our trusted prophet. In uh, Kings and Chronicles, he is our reigning king. In Ezra, he is our faithful scribe. In Nehemiah, the rebuilder of the broken down walls of human life. In Esther, he is our Mordecai. In Job, he is our day spring from on high. In Psalms, he is the Lord, our shepherd. In Proverbs and Ecclesiastes, he is our wisdom. In the Song of Solomon, he's the lover and the bridegroom. In Isaiah, the Prince of Peace. In Jeremiah, the Righteous Prince. In Lamentations, the Weeping Prophet. In Ezekiel, the Wonderful Four-Faced Man. In Daniel, the Fourth Man in the Burning Fiery Furnace. In Hosea, he's the faithful husband married forever to the backslider. To Joel, he is the one who pours out the spirit of God upon all flesh. In Amos, he's our burden bearer. In Obadiah, the mighty to save. In Micah, the messenger of beautiful feet. In Nahum, the avenger of God's elect. In Habakkuk, he's God's evangelist, crying revive thy work in the midst of the years. In Zephaniah, he is the Savior. Haggai, he is the owner of all the silver and gold in the world. In Zechariah, he's the fountain opened up in the house of David for sin and uncleanness. And Malachi, the son of righteousness, rising with healing in his wings. Who is this Jesus? In Matthew, he's the Messiah. In Mark, he's the wonder worker. In Luke, the son of man. In John, the son of God. In Acts, he's the baptizer with the Holy Ghost. In Romans, he is the one who makes everything work together for good to them who love God. In First and Second Corinthians, he is 
the gifts of the Spirit working in our lives today. In Galatians, he's the multiplier of our seed sown. In Ephesians, the Christ of unsearchable riches. In Philippians, the God who supplies all our needs according to his riches in glory. In Colossians, he's the fullness of the Godhead bodily. In First and Second Thessalonians, he's our soon coming king. In First and Second Timothy, he's our mediator between God and man. In Titus, he's the faithful husband. In Philemon, a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. In Hebrews, he's the blood of the everlasting covenant. In James, he's our wisdom. In First and Second Peter, he's the chief shepherd who soon shall appear with a crown of glory. In First, Second, and Third John, he's everlasting love. In Jude, he's the Lord coming with ten thousands of his saints. In Revelation, he's the King of kings and the Lord of lords. this Jesus. He's Abel's sacrifice. He's Noah's rainbow. He's Abraham's ram. He's Isaac's wells. He's Jacob's ladder. He's Samuel's horn of oil. He's David's slingshot. Who is this Jesus? To those who are traveling in the dark night, He's the bright and morning star. To those of us who travel the lonesome valley, he's the lily of the valley, the rose of Sharon, honey in the rock, and the staff of life. He is the eternal ruler, and the government of our life is upon his shoulders. Who is this Jesus? He is omnipotence, all-powerful. He is omniscience, all wisdom. He is omnipresent, everywhere present at the same time. Who is this Jesus? He is the Savior and the Lord of every one of us. He is closer to us than our breath. He's nearer to us than our father, our mother, our husband, our wife, our child, or our closest friend. He is Jesus of Nazareth, the Son of the living God. you 